is up YouTube and welcome back to the second episode of CJ's Cosplays. Um, I have to apologize because it's been a really, really long time since I posted my first video, which if you remember was back my custom group figure that I did uh, back in, I think it was June or July, but um, I actually filmed another DIY custom collectibles video on the Marvel Legends Captain America shield. As you can see, here is the completed product. I was very, very happy with how the shield came out, uh, but unfortunately, I filmed an entire tutorial on how to make and customize the shield, but I lost the last six minutes of the footage that I had, and I didn't have it backed up, and that was all of the weathering and detailing and everything, and I didn't want to upload the video incomplete, so unfortunately, I didn't get to post this, and I was pretty bummed about it, because I spent about a week and a half making this, about six to ten hours of work, uh, in total on painting and distressing and everything and finding the right colors and sanding and everything that worked for it And I was pretty bummed that I didn't get to share that with you guys But anyway, we are gonna stick with the Captain America theme today and go over my Captain America suit Which I purchased from White Sheep Leather uh, We'll get into details on White Sheep Leather's suit uh, in just a couple minutes, but I figured that in keeping with uh, the theme of Captain America that I wanted to share with you the other aspects of my suit that I have. So when purchasing from White Sheep Leather, their website is very, very hard to read at times, but aside from that, their suits are uncomparable. They, it is by far the best Captain America suit that you can buy on the market right now for that amount of money. Um, it is just so well made and the craftsmanship in it and the detail in it, uh, not to mention the fabrics that they use and everything, it just, hands down, in my opinion, is the best suit that you can buy for that money. So on their website, aside from just buying the suit, you can customize it with any different option. You know, you, they have the custom printed Lycra, you can buy it in the traditional Cordura, or the stretch fabric. I went with the stretch fabric, but on top of that, you can get their accessories for Captain America, which are made in real leather. Now, there is nothing that looks and feels and smells like real leather. You're just not gonna get that same uh, look with pleather. Uh, you can paint it and do some distressing on it and everything, which really helps make it look more authentic and more battle damaged and worn, which is something that I really like. But when it comes down to it, real leather has an incredible look to it. However, I spent around $350 on my suit, and it would have been another $300 for the leather pieces. I don't have the money for that right now. Uh, maybe in a few years I'll upgrade to the leather accessories, but I wanted something that looked really good with the suit and complemented it really well, so I actually elected to buy my accessories from New Causer on eBay. Uh, link in the description to the accessories. They have fantastic cosplays that are really, really cheap. Uh, I actually purchased from them a Captain America before I upgraded to the White Sheep Leather. If you're looking for a suit that's around, you know, $200, definitely go with them. They have great patterns and they have great materials that they use. I just was looking for something that was a little more durable and that fit my body better. Uh, they, they use a lot of foam in, in their Captain America suit, which just did not look right on my body. Uh, if you like, I can post a video reviewing that suit. Just leave a comment in the description or find me on Instagram at cosplay underscore CJ or, you know, find me on other social media. But uh, let's get into reviewing the accessories from New Causer. So as you can see right here, we have Captain America's belt. Now, I went with the, in I went with the Civil War suit from white sheep leather, but I don't really love the buckle on the Civil War suit, so I went with their Infinity War uh, accessory set. Really, it doesn't matter what you do. I know that everyone loves screen accuracy, and I'm really, really hard on screen accuracy, but I also wanted to kind of put my own spin on uh, cap suit. So, in my mind, I thought it would be cool to do uh, something where he was transitioning from Infinity War into Civil War. Or from Civil War into Infinity War. Oh my god, I sound like an idiot. So I wanted to do him transitioning from Civil War into Infinity War. So, here is the buckle. There's the buckle. Now, I was in a rush on the day of Comic-Con, and I didn't get to fully weather it the way I wanted to, so I just rubbed some black shoe polish all over it. But here are the pouches, which are fully functional. 
you can put stuff inside. They are, you know, they stick out a little further than they're supposed to, um, but I really wasn't worried about that because I can put stuff in it at a convention if I want to, but I'll show you the other side. Um, so my one issue with the belt, which really isn't an issue, is that on the back side of it, it has Velcro on it. And it has Velcro around the back too. Now this is because on New Causer's suit, they have, uh, my phone's going off. <laughs> worry about that later. On New Causer suit, they have Velcro on the front of their Captain America suit so that this will Velcro to it and stay in place because you're moving around a lot. You got a lot of stuff that you're doing. You want that mobility, but you don't want the belt to go anywhere. However, on the front of the white cheap leather suit, there is no Velcro at all. Um, so if you want to add a panel to it, you totally can. I did not. The rough side of the velcro does make that part fray a little bit but you know it just makes it look a little more weathered and honestly it doesn't get seen by anyone because the belt is covering it so that didn't bother me too much uh next part of new causers uh accessories that we're going to get into are the boot spats now for those of you that don't know in all of the captain america movies uh, Captain America wears boot spats, they're gaiters, uh, which, you know, make it look more like boots, but it's also kind of a more practical and tactical way of doing it. Practical and tactical, that should be Captain America's theme song. Um, but here are the, they're faux leather gaiters. Uh, they actually have, my one issue with these are, they have a really small buckle on them, almost like a women's watch. Um, and the holes just did not line up. And once they're closed, the bottom doesn't really stay on too well. So they're good and they can be modified, but I really just wasn't feeling working on that when I had other things that I had to finish before New York Comic Con this year, like my Gambit cosplay, uh, which we can get into a video later if you guys uh, really like this video and want to give some feedback on it, then maybe we'll go into a tutorial on what I did for Gambit. So instead of using those boot spats, I actually went with a cheap pair of black motorcycle boots that I got off of Amazon. These are Joe Rocket um, brand motorcycle boots. They cost me $98 with two day free shipping, which was unbelievable. Um, I'm gonna later on go in and cover up the Rocket logo, put some gaff tape on it or something, um, and cover up the 3M bits. Uh, really doesn't matter, it actually gives it kind of a cool look. Uh, but on <laughs> the morning of Comic Con, I just took some brown acrylic paint and just brushed it all over the front of it because I realized that I didn't really get to weather them. Um, now I do like the look of Chris Evans' brown spats in the movie of Infinity War, but I just decided to go with the black similar to Civil War. There's no buckles on it or anything, but honestly, I really dig the way that these look on my Captain America suit. You can go for preference of, like I said, screen accuracy or whatever you like, but it's your cosplay. And I'm never going to look like Chris Evans in my suit. Doesn't happen. I've been told I look more like Nathan Fillion or even at Comic-Con someone said, nice suit, but you look more like Winter Soldier. I don't think I look anything like Sebastian Sam, but if you guys think so, let me know. Maybe I will do a Winter Soldier cosplay. Who knows? It's just for the fun of doing it. Um, but I really like these boots, and I know that I'm going to be using these a lot in future cosplays. Uh, I'm going to be working on a Titans Robin, which I'm really excited about. I've already spoken to White Sheep Leather and they're going to commission a Robin suit for me and we just have to get more of the details on it. I found some great screen caps when once we get that up, I will get that info to you guys on how maybe you can order it and we can do a full build video on Robin. Um, but these are really, really great boots. And now we're going to go back into some more of the Captain America accessories. So here we have the harness. Again, this harness is from Infinity War. And I did that because I love the circular uh, buckles on it, as well as the wire that goes up to it. Now, all of these are cast in metal. Um, they are really great. Uh, I love these. I really, really, really love these, and I love the way that this fits around me. I had these built to my custom measurements. The best thing about buying from New Causer is they do not charge for custom fitting, which is fantastic. If you can go with custom fitting, I highly recommend it. Just get someone to get your measurements, get them as exact as possible the first time, and make sure you write them down. 
because it's a bitch when you have to go back and redo it over and over again. Now, going into the gloves, uh, I got gloves that came with the new Causer ones, but I found these on eBay from Manless Best, which I can also put a link in the description. Now, these cost me around $16, and when I first got them, they were a dark brown all the way through, but I went in with a brown acrylic milk chocolate color that I actually used on my group video, um, and I just did a little bit of detailing in them. Uh, they are very comfortable. Um, I had no issues with it. My only issue was that on my shield, right by where the handle grip is, there are bolts. And because of these holes, I actually cut my knuckles open and had bleeding knuckles at Comic-Con, which really made it look authentic, but uh, was not a big fan of uh, the feeling of sweat dripping into it. But these were great. It was a great little buy. I probably will go back and order the white sheep leather gloves for uh, $50 because um, you know, what's $50 when you're, you know, spending this much on a costume to begin with. Uh, but it looked, they look really great, and they look great with the suit, and I wasn't worried if these got messed up. Uh, but now it is time to get into the piece de resistance of this suit, and that is the white cheap leather Captain America suit. Alright folks, so now as you can semi-see, I have on the base layer of the white cheap leather uh, Captain America suit. So the way that it attaches, it's actually in multiple pieces. So you have the shirt, which I have right here, which has built-in shoulder pads. Uh, you can take those out if you want, but put that on. Then you just zip this up in the front. And I already have the pants on, and what happens is the pants zip right here to the top of the shirt so that it stays all in one piece. Um, now the one issue that I had with the suit was that since it's made of stretch material, it naturally wanted to stretch throughout the day. So if you put things in your pockets, which fully functional pockets, which is great, um, if it's heavy, like a cell phone or something, it's going to weigh the pants down. And since it wants to naturally stretch and has a lot of give in it, it's going to then make the pants sag a little bit. So by the end of the day at Comic-Con, touching my crotch, don't really want to do that right here. Um, uh, by the end of the day at Comic-Con, my crotch was about two inches shorter, or longer, longer than it should have been. If it was two inches shorter, that would have been an even bigger issue. But anyway, um, here is the base layer of the white sheep leather Captain America suit. It's what you can see in the back. Just make sure that you zip in front, because if you think that the zip's going back, then your pants are going to be backwards. And that's not going to be great, because they have a fly in them naturally, which is fantastic and a big plus for any costume. Um, I'll show you, see if I can show you the boots right there. So much give in this, so much stretch, so much room for activities. Um, but yeah, so now let's put on the vest and see how that looks with the suit. All right, so here is the vest. I'll just show you the inside real fast. It's just lined with mesh, which is great because it has a lot of breathability in it and having the vest go on instead of having this all be one piece you know, gives you a lot of give and a lot of mobility. So let's just put this bad boy on. All right, and now through the magic of editing, I will have this fully zipped up and buttoned together. So, as you can see, I have the full suit on right now. Um, not fully showing you the back right now because this suit is a real pain to have to put on by yourself because uh, the snaps, well, I'll just show you now. The snaps right here, you can't really reach by one person when you attach the capelet because this capelet covers up the zipper that's in the back because you don't want to see the zipper. But we're just going to forget about all that right now and now we're going to put on some of the accessories. So here we have the full white sheep leather Captain America suit. Again, these accessories were from New Causer on eBay and Manless Best. All links will be in the description below. I just wanted to give you guys a look at everything you can see here the knee pads, do some kicks. I'm not really in the martial arts so don't really know what I'm doing now. Um, took karate when I was like six years old, but that was a long time ago. Um, anyway, here's the suit, and real fast, let's just get a shot of it with the shield. There we go, that really just helps set this whole thing off. You know, what is Captain America without his shield? Except for when he doesn't have his shield in Infinity War, but he gets two new shields anyway. Two shields equals just this one shield, because that's how badass this thing really is. Um, but there we go. 
here is the full look of the white sheep leather suit. I'm gonna put in some pictures too right here from New York Comic Con, so this way you can see it with some awesome lighting and makeup and everything, and it really just makes the whole thing get set off. So there you have it with the white sheep leather Captain America suit review as well as the accessories from New Causer and the manless best gloves. Link will be in the description for all of these suits. Once again, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I'm really sorry I haven't posted anything but I am really trying to get videos out and got a lot of exciting new things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I already know that for 2019 I have planned um, a Robin like I said from uh, DC's Titans as well as uh, Shazam, which I'm very excited about. So anytime that I do a new custom collectible or something, we're gonna be going over all of this. I wanna share with you guys my journey into this cosplay world. I've gotten a lot of great feedback since Comic-Con on my Gambit cosplay, as well as my Captain America, and it's just something that I'm really passionate about and I wanna share with you guys. So, like I said, I have a few more videos that are planned that are gonna be coming out in the next couple weeks. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Find me on Instagram, cosplay underscore CJ. If you have any comments or you have any issues or anything that you want to share with me or ideas on a future build or something, please let me know. Once again, thank you, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Stay super, friends.